Hello again, Fishalots. It's John, and let's get straight into the action here where I'm going to show you how to catch unlimited bluegill and panfish with these techniques. Let's get straight into it. And for the first tip, don't walk straight up to the spot that you're looking to fish, especially on the bank, and cast because you're just going to spook all the fish. You can see it's a hot summer day. If I were to walk right up to that concrete slab right there, you're going to spook all the fish. I'm going to have a five foot shadow over them and they're just not going to bite. And this is the same type of tactic that we also use in our boats and our kayaks. We use this for striper fishing. We use this for black drum fishing. I use it for carp and you name it. It's just that you always want to approach your spot slowly. You don't want to spook the fish. And in this case, you're going to see I'm going to catch bluegill after bluegill just like this and I'm going to be standing a good distance back from the bank because I don't want to spook the fish and probably the biggest tip of this entire video is not to go too heavy on your line that's a big mistake when you're trying to trigger bites especially in the heat of summer where fish might be a little lethargic the fish can detect larger diameter lines and so two pound monofilament for ultralight applications is absolutely perfect you would be amazed at how many more more bites you could trigger with just two pound test line than you will with four, six, or eight pound test. So many times I see guys approach ponds or lakes or rivers and they're fishing for bass, even larger fish, and they're just using too large a diameter of line and it's costing you bites. So my tip here, especially for bluegill fishing or unlimited fishing where you want to catch fish after fish to maybe entertain a kid or just have some fun after work, is go very low on the diameter line two pound monofilament is absolutely perfect for this type of fishing. And very similar to my last tip, you also don't want to go too heavy on your lures or your jig heads. So right here, I like to use a one inch Berkeley Gulp minnow that's in the smelt color. And I like to compare that onto a 164 ounce Bobby Garland jig head. This light jig head is absolutely perfect for depths around five to six feet with not a lot of current. So this is perfect what I'm going to be using here today. I could get a lot of action from this and I could get a lot of bites from it. And of course, one of the big issues I see when people first start fishing with soft plastics is they just don't take the time to make sure that the hook is on straight. So you can see me baiting this up here. What you want to do is, is put that soft plastic, no matter what it is or how big it is, right along the hook up until the bait starts to curve around that bend of the hook. And that's when you poke it through. And you'll find that most times that lure is going to be straight if you use that tactic right there. And a straight lure is so important to triggering bites because if it's crooked or it's got a kink in it it's going to helicopter and it's just not going to get your bites and all right now let's go over how to actually retrieve this ultra light presentation here in order to trigger those bites and catch your fish so you can see what i'm going to do is i'm going to lift up on the rod very gently and then i'm going to be reeling in that's the reel in the slack to make sure i'm always maintaining contact with the lure and then i'm just going to let the lure fall most of these fish are going to hit on the fall as it does right there so there you go the bluefish hit on the fall and as i just kind of lifted up on the rod that bluefish was there i set the hook and i'm going to land this fish right here so another technique you're going to see me use here is you'll see me kind of quickly kind of tap tap that lure up and the reason why i do that is just kind of get a reaction bite to get that gulp darting through the water and as it darts through the water i could trigger a bite that way or at least get the fish's attention so that after it darts and it starts to fall that's when i trigger the bite but again the key there is is to reel in as you're jigging up so that you catch a fish just like i did right there you'll also notice i have my pole pointed directly into the wind that's because even with this ultralight wine line a little bit of wind can put some belly in your line and you won't be able to feel the bites and another quick tip here is whenever you're using gulp whether that's gulp minnows or grubs or whatever always make sure to keep that gulp juice and recharge those gulp baits that will trigger more bites that'll just keep the bites coming as you use it throughout the day and also you really want a watertight container to store that gulp juice because if you just use the bags that they come in as soon as you open them up that gulp juice gets all over the place it ruins all your tackle it's just really nasty stuff so I use just a watertight Tupperware like you see right here, and it works great. And for more tips on how to trigger these fish to bite, go ahead and click on this end card right here where I share more helpful tips and tricks on how you can maximize your time out on the water and catch unlimited crappie, bluegill, and bass. Of course, I'll have a list of everything I discussed in this video in the description below. Make sure to check it out. And go ahead and head over to johnnyfishalot.com for all the gear that I use in all of my videos. Thanks a lot, Fishalots. I'll see you out there on the water.